Benchmarking studies are usually performed to compare the strengths and weaknesses of an organization against its peers and competitors. Some of the items we measure include cost, quality, time, type of service, customer perception, just to name a few. Although there is no de facto standard for conducting benchmarking, uh, there is some sort of common methodology that is being used. Benchmarking may be internal, uh, industry, functional, or generic. Internal benchmarking is the comparison of processes or operations within an organization. An industry benchmarking is the comparison of processes or operations against industry leading competitors. Functional ben benchmarking is the comparison of processes or operations against like processes or, in, or operations in similar industries. For example, comparing the application process for a loan at a bank and insurance application at a life insurer. Generic benchmarking compares processes or, or operations across non-related industries. For example, a generic benchmarking study may compare the billing processes of a hospital with the billing processes of a telecommunications company. Typically, generic benchmarking results in the greatest opportunity for improvement since comparisons are made without any regard to specific industries. This helps team members to begin thinking of their processes differently and often leads to dramatic results, or they can lead to dramatic results. So how do we actually go ahead and use this element called benchmarking? We'll start with step number one. We determine internal processes and operations to be benchmarked. Step number two would be determining the company to be benchmarked or benchmarking data source to use as a comparison. Number three would be the identifying data to be collected and then gather and collect the data. Four would be identifying the gaps or the deficiencies. Number five would be project future performance based on trends at both the benchmarking competitor at the, in the internal process or operation under study. Number six would be communicating results and recommendations for change. And number seven would be establish new goals for the process of operations. Sounds like continual process improvement. Step number eight would be create an implementation action plan. Step number nine, implement changes and monitor results. Step number 10, access and recalibrate benchmark. Thank you very much again for joining me for benchmarking and I look forward to seeing you our next video lecture.